Hi friends, I came with a new video. It is bonding. So bonding is how uh, I will explain here why bonding is used, where is the benefit, how it will be configured. So firstly, I will uh, tell you uh, how we will uh, configure a bonding. So what is the concept behind a bonding? I will uh, con uh, I will. <coughs> how uh, yeah I will start how the bonding is so let's assume this is a server it has two interfaces one interface is this is ETH 0 my handwriting is very bad so please excuse so the second interface is eth1 so what is the benefit of uh, bonding so let's see these two interface cards and both are connected if you are using only eth0 and let's assume this cable which is connected with your switch it's gone bad let's say this cable gone bad or this particular port of the switch has issue let's see this itself uh, interface or this network card has problem what will happen so your server will be go down immediately so what we can do we can we have the second interface we can connect with the switch with the same subnet cable and both switches we can use as a bond so we can create a net a bond bond let's say it's the first bond so we can create a bond zero onto the system what it will do it will use to the interfaces and work as a one now i will explain you how to create a bond zero onto a server yeah. so it is you need one server at least with two interface cards and both should be up so if i show you one server i have so this is my machine it has two interfaces if config eth2 and eth3 both has uh, connected with the one switch if you see eth2 this is the tool eth tool it will show you its link is detected or not say link is detected so it is now see the eth3 here also you can see link is detected it means both my uh, interface are connected now to create a bond you have to just create one file that file name is etc mode prop bonding means your kernel should aware you have a bond you want to create a bond your kernel should aware of these things so modeprop.d we can create a file bonding.com here you no need to mention much thing because in your uh, kernel kernel only understand the bond zero we uh, bonding so what we are we are creating the multiple bonds bond zero i am giving here so this is alias of bonding bond zero so which i will configure and second options so option is bond zero mode one mode one is redundant not redundant sorry it is active only failover when bond one means only one interface will work at a time second interface will only use once once interface will be lost or some connection uh, loss happened so this is the um, only the this file is very much required for bonding after that you can just configure the bond zero it is a sysconfig network hyphen scripts network hyphen scripts if cfg bond zero if you see the bond zero i have already configured here see uh, sorry. device is bond zero I have given the IP address, then network mask. These are the by default things. Only optional things you can mention here bonding. Bonding is equal to uh, mode 0 and MMI mod that I will tell you later is 100 Mbps. Actually, that is wrong. It should be 1 gig card. So it should be 1000. So it should be 1000 here. So on boot yes, then see bond zero we have seen 
now go on the eth uh, 2 and 3 if you go the 2 it will tell you here a simple configuration you have to just tell the who is master is bond 0 slave is yes it is working as a both as uh, slave for each other and see eth 3 uh, now come to the eth 3 see here here also the same configuration here only the two things here also you need to mention master is bond 0 and slave is equal to yes then this interface will work both the interfaces 2 and 3 will work as the uh, slave for bond 0 that is master okay now the only file you need to check etc sorry uh, in the proc net bonding and bond 0 so once you see here you can see if uh, that I I am am I mon I tell told you if you give the hundred then only hundred bytes uh, Mbps speed you will get if uh, now I give the thousand it will show the thousand Mbps so that is the right now uh, this is the simple configuration thanks friends if you have any doubt please query me on i the at gmail.com thanks a lot